Hey guys, PC Attic 365 here with you. Um, today we are going to be taking a look at Shadow Play. Um, I finally got it installed a couple weeks ago. I've been busy, so I know I haven't uploaded a lot of videos. So I apologize for that. Um, hopefully things will slow down a little bit for me and I'll be able to do more of this. So, um, But yeah, on to uh, Shadow Play. I will be giving you guys a look at it, um, the interface and stuff, and kind of telling you my thoughts of it. And then later on, um, in separate videos, I'll be uploading uh, some gameplay videos using Shadow Play. All right, so um, Nvidia Shadow Play is actually part of the GeForce Experience. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, basically here it is here, GeForce Experience. You have to download it, um, and then what it does is like it optimizes your games um, based on what kind of graphics card you have and stuff. So, like for your rig, I got a GTX 680, um, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, it's showing 30 here because uh, one of my RAM modules, a Corsair Vengeance, has actually lost 2 gigs of RAM again. Um, they were excellent last time at warranty, but I got to send one in again, so I just haven't got around to it. Uh, but yeah, uh, GeForce Experience, it lets you update drivers, um, just check for updates and stuff. Um, pretty easy actually really easy and then you can uh, optimize all your games too for the settings so basically it says game is optimized like uh, where's the new ghosts here's Call of Duty ghosts um, right now current and then this here says optimized so they'd, they'd recommend going from FXAA to 4X MSAA um, map resolution high should go to extra and extra yeah well actually uh, just click optimize so now when I start the game up it'll actually optimize the settings um, then you can uh, set different preferences for your games and stuff but you guys want to know about shadow play so um, under preferences there is a tab called shadow play so if you click that um, you can choose to have the recording indicator show in the top left top right bottom right or bottom left part of your screen uh, for me I actually like it in the top left hand position of the screen or you can actually have it all the way off but I just kinda like it in the top left hand part um, then you can choose also where you want to save your gameplay footage at. Uh, the file sizes are nowhere near as big as with like DxTory. Um, that's one thing that is really impressive that NVIDIA did because the quality, um, there is like no lag on the video, um, especially when playing like sports games and stuff. I haven't seen any, any lag like uh, basically some of like Fraps and DxTory did. Uh, they struggled with pl recording like NBA 2K and stuff like that. So um, they did an excellent job there. And the file size are actually really manageable. Um, then you can go and set up keyboard shortcuts for recording. So if you want to use, uh, let's say, F3 to record, just highlight this, hit F3. And you can use that to uh, start and stop recording. Personally, I like F2 hit the record button if you hit alternate F10 or whatever shortcut you want to set um, it'll actually save like your last 10 minutes of gameplay or five last five minutes whatever so basically while you're playing the game it's shadowing you like recording everything that you're doing for the last however many minutes you set so if we actually click the shadow play button here um, it brings up this window and you can see you can turn it off or you can turn it on um, then you have your mode here which is shadow and manual so this here enables a shadow <coughs> mode like I was saying where you can play and just not record it but if you're like oh damn I did something really cool and I want to save it just hit alternate F10 and it'll actually save the last um, I got mine set up as 10 minutes of shadow time. So save the last 10 minutes. Um, if you just want shadow mode on, you choose this one. 
So you just click this one here. And then it's just shadow mode. But personally, I like manual mode. So then I can choose when to start and stop recording. So I can let it record as long as I want that way. Um, and then like I was saying, the shadow time, you can adjust with the uh, slider here. Anywhere from one minute, as you can see, one minute is 375 megabytes. All the way up to 10 minutes at 3.8 gigs. So naturally, the quality is going to uh, affect how big your file sizes are. So check this out. You go to medium quality. Um, the size is dropped down to 1.7 gigs for 10 minutes. And if you go to low, um, it's actually 1.1 gig. So there is quite a quite a difference in file size. It's uh, what three about three and a half, not quite three and a half times from low to medium for quality file size. Um, but I leave mine on high. Um, for audio you can have on or off. They don't support um, like microphones for right now. It would be really nice if they do and I'm sure later on in the future once they get the bugs worked out probably um, once everything's running smoothly they'll probably add a uh, option probably another button like this for microphone for recording uh, live commentary or gameplay or tutorials stuff like that but uh, yeah that shadow play there and the really cool thing about shadow play is once you have it turned on and enabled you can actually go ahead and close these windows and then when you open up your PC game um, you don't you don't have to open GeForce experience every time to record what you're doing which is actually really really nice because there's been many times I've started up a game and then I'm like, oh man, I forgot to start up DX Story. So then I'd have to pause the game, exit or exit out back to the home screen, start up DX Story, and then continue on from there. But with Shadow Play, um, you start up a game. The little icon, if you have one, is actually is always there. Um, so basically, it's letting you know that if you want to record your gameplay footage, you can which is really nice so you don't have to remember to turn on shadow play before you start playing games or anything like that so yeah really cool feature so the quality of uh, like gameplay footage recording that uh, shadow play records is actually absolutely amazing um, DX story records really really good too with like the uh, lossless codec and stuff um, some other ones record pretty good too but Shadow Play actually blows them out of the water. The only downfall is you can't use like a microphone um, to record your gameplay commentary like while using Shadow Play. Um, that's the one feature that I think they'll probably build in in the future, but for now they don't have it. Um, but as far as quality goes, yeah, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stutter. Um, it does an excellent job. I mean, I couldn't have been more impressed, honestly, for the file size and stuff. It does excellent. So, uh, if you're thinking about using it, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, Fraps, uh, DX Story, they might be a thing of the past, honestly. I hate to say it, but once uh, they figure out a way to add commentary in there, as far as microphone use, I think the other two probably people won't be using them. So. Uh, look for more in the future from NVIDIA on that. Uh, hopefully they do include it. So, Alright, well, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, favorite, like, share, subscribe, and uh, check out my channel. Hopefully I'll uh, have time to upload more videos for you guys. So, Okay, take it easy. Until then, we'll see you later.